we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We talking about it now. Folks don't know. <laughs> Frank, we sitting here in Davie, Florida. You're in camp right now, getting ready for December 18th, Darren Williams. You know, as I prepared for this, like, all right, what's gonna be my jump off question? And I couldn't help myself but leading with this, like, why? 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 Why boxing? You know, I've been around it for a long time. I started boxing, like, 2006. Not really training to fight, but, you know, training to get in shape for football. And being in the hood, you feel like you could fight, you know, when you're young coming up. And once I got in the Boston gym, man, it was like a challenge. I feel like I couldn't even throw a punch the right way. Me growing up, I always liked the challenge. I always challenged myself. And when I got in the ring and I got in the gym, it was tough. So uh, I just kept sticking with it. And I saw myself getting better and better. And, you know, I stayed with it. Yeah, but I don't think you answered my question. You were a legend in high school. Mm -hmm. And this, we're talking about South Florida high school football. Then you go to the U and the legend continues and it grows especially when you blew out both your knees. Right. You bounced back, nobody thought you would make it to the NFL, get drafted, let alone play 16 years. You play in the Super Bowl, your third all time, when you talk about rushing, 16 years. Mm -hmm. And now you're sitting here done. I saw the car you pulled up in. I see the home, you live in my old neighborhood. I know the home. Like why, like, I, like why? I'm blessed, man, I'm blessed. I like competing. This all season, I wasn't sure if I wanted to play. I had teams called. You know, I train here at Bomberitos in the gym upstairs. You know, I've been training with JC off and on, and he, he trained a lot of football players, but he always told me, like, man, uh, you got to, you can really do it if you wanted to, but it got to be right. Let's go, baby. Nice and light, let's get the jab going first. Ready? Nice and tight. Frank and I got connected about four years ago. I was training a couple of the Dolphin players and word got out and Frank decided to drop on in and did some pad work with him and he's been here ever since. When we first started, it was just about getting in shape for the season. But as we went along, I, you know, I noticed he was honing in on the technique and wanting to, to actually learn the technique. You know, he really started coming in every day and training hard. And I was like, you know, Frank, you know, with all this stuff going on with the YouTubers and all this stuff, yeah, you have a shot. You know, you have a shot at getting one of these fights and, and, and doing well. When the team called, I had to question myself, did I want to do it? You know, with this new stuff going on with Jake Paul, the celebrity stuff, and JC, like, I feel like you should try if you don't, if you don't play. And I was like, I'm gonna see. And I, I was here every day and I was like working out and I, and I loved doing it, you know what I'm saying? I felt like I got good at it. And when he told me he think I should uh, take, you know, try to get a fight, and here we go now, December 18th. December 18th. So you talked about what's going on in boxing now. Some people hate it, some people love it. The celebrities, the athletes jumping in. Do you consider yourself a celebrity fighter or a fighter? I would say I'm going in as a fighter. You know, I'm doing everything they're doing now. You know, I'm training, eating right, you know, I'm jogging, um, I'm boxing in the morning, I'm doing I'm running that night. Not having sex. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the whole Mike Tyson. Right, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm doing, hey, I'm trying to do everything before I could be right. right, man. I'm being real, and um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Brand. It's it's, it's 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 tough, bro. Yeah. This 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 sports, man. It's tough, man. You know, I will never call a guy who you know really like a fighter. I will never call him sorry. Whoever taking this real serious, I will never do it. Because Even if they have a losing record, I won't. It's, it's a grind, man. Right. It's different than football. It's different, bro. bro. Oh, look like no football player, huh? No football, we do a lot of sprints, a lot of agilities. Boston, we do a lot of distance. First time to start jogging, man, it was very tough, but you know, I signed up for it. You know, I wanted to do it, and every guy who boxed told me I must get on a, a must jog. And that's the best condition you can um, do for a, a fighter. And I just had to stick with it, and, and I got better and better. And now I'm up to like five miles, like nothing. I, I really, I'm taking it serious. You know, I, I want to look good. I want to win. So each day, when I come to work out, I got to I got to get whatever my coaches tell me to do. I'm giving them 110 percent because it's only me in the ring. You know, I can't hide behind my old linemen. I can't hide behind my receivers. 
I got to be ready because it's just me and, and, and another man on, on the other side. And the interesting part is that you're facing a guy much bigger than you. I mean, right. Deron Williams is about what, 6'3", 6'4"? 6'3", 6'3". Exactly. And, and literally coming at you with nobody deflecting that attack. Mm -hmm. I'll be all right. I won't lie, I'm very nervous, but I'm nervous because I care about it. I want to be good, you know. Um, but I've been training my behind off, man. My teammates have um, been pushing me, and they want to see me do good, and I'm excited, for real. Well, just to put things in for I always said this, and you don't even know I tell people this. People always ask me about feet, like who has the best feet in the NFL. It's Frank, and then there's everybody else. And when I say there's Frank, then there's two, three, four, five, there's a gap, and then you can put in whoever else you want to put there, bro. I've never seen any feet like that. And to me, that is your superpower. Yep. So my question for you is, knowing that you have some of the best feet that ever graced this world, are you going to be utilizing your feet in the ring come December 18th? I think that would be my advantage because you know a lot of big guys can't move like, like how I move. And that's one of the reasons I was able to play so long. You know, you're training with a lot of athletes, everybody got their special tool. And you know, like on a Monday we do agilities. So I made it myself. I got to be the best one in agility. You know, I might know how to long speed, but I'm gonna compete with the guys who are faster. That's why that's why I'm if, if I'm training with Chris Johnson at the time, I'm gonna get next to him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But go back to your your your, your, your question. I think people are gonna be surprised to why I move in the ring. I think that will help me. I don't know how this fight came along. Darren Williams, mm -hmm. NBA All-Star and a legend in his own right. How did this fight happen? Who made the fight? Man, my trainer, JC, was looking for a guy who, you know, who really bought. You know, we had some names. We even had some MMA guys who didn't want to do it. You know, we got a call saying that, you know, Darren Williams, was, he'll fight. He wanted to fight me. And then, you know, we tried to look up stuff on him. You know, NFL guys, I'm, I love to watch film, especially with, a guy who like, you know, linebackers. I want to know physical, I want to know finesse. I want, you know, I got to see. Right. Because this motherfucker hit the A gap. <laughs> I want to be able, okay, I'm gonna have to attack, you know what I'm saying? So we couldn't find film. Me and my coach, we was like, um, you know, he don't know because this is my first time. Even though I've been around him, it's still different when you get in the ring. So uh, Darren Williams went out of my Instagram. I, I think they made him do it. It was like, I'm, I'm shadowing, I'm like, who want to get in the ring with me? And he put, I will. So I, I see it, I get challenged. I say, he on my Instagram, so I'm thinking. I say, Coach, man, what you think, man? You think we'll be able to get it done? He's like, long if you want to do it, I'm, and I'm going to be 100% behind you, man. And that's how it happened. Yeah, what people don't realize is that Frank, although he's short, he does have a long jab. He has a long reach. He utilizes that jab well. Now, Darren, you know, he wrestled in the past. Unfortunately, wrestling doesn't always translate into boxing because you can't wrestle in the ring. So when you take away takedowns and all that stuff, it is tough to just box, you know. A lot of these MMA fighters that, that try strictly boxing, it's tough for them because they hesitate. Once you hesitate because you can't take somebody down or you can't strike them with the elbow, or they have to really think about what they're gonna do. And we can exploit that. Frank has never done that before, so he strictly works with his hands. He doesn't hesitate on his punches, and he's gonna go for the attack. You know, he's gonna go get inside and, and outwork, outwork them. Can you learn from Nate Robinson? Can you learn from Chad Ochocinco? I mean, those are athletes that got in there. Nate Robinson knocked out. Ocho looked good, but got knocked down. Yeah, but that's the, that's, the, that's the name of the sport, though. You get hit, you're going to get hit, you get knocked down. Like, I take my hat off of Chad. I've been around Chad in the gym, so I know he was going to look good. I think that if they gave Chad more time, he would have did way better. I still think he won the fight. But, you know, that's the name of the game, man. You're going to get hit, you get knocked down, you get up and try to, try to, try to win, you know? All right, you're about to box a basketball player. If you had the opportunity to pick one football player to box, who would it be? Michael Crabtree. <laughs> that was your teammate. I know, but he taught Boston like he really knew it, man. <laughs> I just want to let him know how tough it is. Right. Yeah, All right. Crabtree. All right, you played 16 years at the running back position. I personally don't think we're going to see another running back do that. I know there's guys before you. What's your advice to young running backs coming up? How do they try to accomplish that? You gotta stay grinding, man. You know how some guys, when they have one year and 
you know, they hear the media talking about them, and they kind of get relaxed. Like, I listen to your, 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 you know, I'm an athlete, and I listened to when you said that, like, you were scared, like, to fail. And when you have success, you know, it get harder and harder. And when you love the game, you always thinking about what you want to do next. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, and, right. and you always look at guys who you went out there. You also say, like, when you went fourth round, it make you, like, hungry. Like, you know what I'm saying? You looked at the guys who went before you, that's what I did. I say, my goal to be better than these guys from that, th from, from that rookie year on. Wow. If I can do that, I can be successful in this league. Because they ain't going to get the opportunities. You know how it is. Right, right. And I just kept that in my mind. I wanted to be the last man standing at my position. Before I used to go work out, I used to look at, when I got 27, oh, he going down here. I used to look at this before I go train. This used to make me go. Like negative stuff, you know what I'm saying? Right. And that's all they got to do, man. Keep their head down and just keep working, man. And just keep working. Can you look in the camera? Tell me what's going to happen December 18th. Oh, man. December 18th, I know I'm going to be ready. And when I get in the ring, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get a W. I'm very excited about it. I trained my behind off for the last eight weeks. And we're going to be ready. Ah, uh, Frank, come on, bro. Don't give me the hey. football court. Answer. No, but that's, hey, that's me, bro. Bro, that's what you did for 16 years in yeah, NFL. But you, you took the hey, high road and you that's said, me, you said all the politically correct things. You know, it's a new sport. It's me. You know, my my, my main thing, hey, I, I get need the a win. prediction, bro. I need to know, like, my main it, thing, I mean, you how, know, many rounds, how many rounds? It's four rounds. It's four rounds. Is it going the distance? We don't, hey, if it, if it, you know, like me and my coach talk about, you know, let's show them that the skills we got. If knockout come, it come. If don't, that's just look good. So people could be like, man, this man really can do it. Right. Come on, come on, come on. December 18th. Appreciate it.